Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making one of my family's favorite salads. One of the easiest and quickest salads to make. It's becoming warm outside. Spring is coming. Please Lord, spring is coming. Uh, we're going to be having this in the garden. And this is something you can make up, put in the refrigerator. Be working, working in the garden, working in the yard, coming home from work. Grab a bowl, grab a salad, and in just a few minutes you can have a good salad and sit down and relax and then go work or do whatever you have to do before dinner or me. I'll have this for my dinner because I love salads. I love broccoli. I love um, cauliflower, onions I definitely love, and uh, bacon. Who don't love bacon? Rex. You're supposed to be in the other room. Thank you. Oh, I'm not thanking you because you didn't go. That's my grandson's dog. He's a good dog. But he wants to be with me if I'm in the kitchen or wherever I'm at. Don't you? Thank you. <laughs> I'm babysitting. They went to the water park. Yeah, and didn't take me. Imagine that. But I got Rex. That's all it that mattered. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut my broccoli up and get it in my bowl and then go to my cauliflower. Now, a lot of times, well most every time, when I do my broccoli, I will cut the ends like this off of it. Then I'll save this and I'll make broccoli, cream of broccoli soup. My grandchildren, great-grandchildren, love broccoli. They will eat broccoli for every meal. I have one grandson that he wants it on his pizza. So broccoli is something we always, always have because it's good for you. And hey, if the kids want broccoli, that's what they're going to have. We went out for breakfast one Sunday morning after church and the one little boy, he was seven, I think, and um, they brought his meal to him, and he had pancakes. And uh, he looked around, he says, where's my broccoli? And he asked the waitress, he says, where's my broccoli? She said, well, you didn't order broccoli, you ordered pancakes. You don't eat pancakes and broccoli. He says, I eat broccoli every time I eat. And she looked at his dad and he says, could you bring him a order of steamed broccoli? <sighs> she was just astonished that he wanted broccoli. So she brought him broccoli. Well, that started it all. Everybody, all the kids had to have broccoli. But that's good because it's good for them. So anyway. This is really simple to make. Just cut up your broccoli. I like to have this in the refrigerator all the time. In the summer especially. Because you just grab a dish of it and go on with your work. I don't put a lot of the other part in it. but uh, Now the kids will eat the other part great grandkids. They don't want the tree part. <laughs> First time I heard them say that, I'm like, the tree? Yeah, the green part up there is the tree. I don't want that. Okay, you don't have to eat the tree. Anyway, I like to make cream of broccoli and cheese soup, so I always use the other part for that. So it looks like we may be having some of that this week. A lot of people just want soup during the winter. Not me. I want it during the summer, winter, whenever. So, I know my mommy loved it. Oh my gosh, my mommy loved cream of broccoli soup so well and potato soup. She just loved it. And uh, one day I said, Mom, she lived with us uh, the last a little over two years before she passed, and uh, I said, I think you and I are going to go to P 
Panera for dinner today. I said, because today they have cream of broccoli soup. She's all good. She says, I love that. My mom was a little, little lady. She didn't go too many places and um, didn't get out. She was a little hillbilly, like me. I'm a hillbilly too, but uh, she she ate like a hillbilly. She didn't want she didn't like to try new things, and if she didn't like to try it, she'd say, "Oh, that'll hurt my stomach. I don't want that. I can't eat it." And I'd say, "Okay, mom," and I'd let it go. And uh, so we went there to Panera, and she got their cream of broccoli soup and you know they always give you the, the bread and with it and uh, I had to laugh at her because the gentleman I think he was the manager she always thought it was neat when they came around and asked if they could get her get us anything else she thought she was special because she didn't realize that they asked everybody that well he asked me if he'd get me anything else I know, Mom. Isn't that nice of him? <laughs> so, anyway, she uh, was sitting there, and I didn't think of anything, because she was eating. She was fine. And if she didn't like something, she'd let you know. And I said, your soup good? Yep. It's really good. I love coming here. I just love this place. I said, I know, and I just wanted to bring you here today. And uh, Daddy had passed away several years before that, and she just didn't get to go very many places. She lived alone, and no one took her out to dinner too often. My brother did quite a bit. He had to work so much, but he didn't have time. But uh, he tried to. And uh, so, otherwise, it was like McDonald's, uh, Wendy's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, places like that. So, I don't like those places. It's too greasy. I just don't like them. So, the manager comes around and Sometimes, well, she says what she thinks. So, okay, I'm putting a head of cauliflower in here. So, manager come over and he says, hi, ladies, and how are you today? And we said hi to him and we were fine. And he said, can I get you anything else, coffee or anything else? And Oh, Lord, my mom said, yes, you can, and I just held my breath because I didn't know what she was going to say because she wouldn't drink a coffee. She had plenty to drink, and she said, yeah, she said, could you take this, and she picked up the bread. You know, it's kind of hard on it. She said, this is really too hard. She said, and this soup would be so much better with cornbread. She says, can you take it and get me a piece of cornbread and just take this away? <laughs> and I, I didn't say nothing. She was talking. And I kind of looked at him and smiled. And he says, you know, that would be better with cornbread. He was so sweet. He said, but... You know, ma'am, we don't have cornbread today. I am so sorry. She says, well, that's okay then. Thank you. <laughs> and I thought, oh, my goodness. Uh, she wanted cornbread with it, but I guess it would be better with cornbread. But I thought that was so cute the way she said that. She said, this just would be so much better with cornbread. So, but it would have been. But you never know what your mamas are going to say when they get that age. So remember that, kids. You never know what we're going to say. So you better be nice to us. I know my son's rotten. 
he can embarrass you to where you want to crawl under the table when you're out eating with him if he gets ready wants to embarrass you but that didn't embarrass me that was my mother and she was sweet and she was she just said what she thought would be better with it and I'd love to take her out to dinner today if she was still here Okay, I'm putting a head of cauliflower in this, and I'm going to mix it up with my hands, which you saw me go over there and wash my hands once already. Like I said, this is such an easy, easy salad to make, and such a good one, and I think that's enough of this cauliflower, too. Then I'm going to take a small, or this is probably a medium-sized onion. I think one of my mama's favorite restaurants, and I loved it. Her and her sister, my Aunt Martha, Aunt Marthy, they love to go to fish and chips or... Um, any of those fish restaurants and every once in a while we'd get Aunt Marthy and she lived the town over from us which was only 14 miles we'd go pick up Aunt Marthy and take her out to eat with mommy Let's see where you want to go to eat at ladies and uh, sometimes we'd get Aunt Ellen that was their oldest sister and we'd take them out to eat. Okay, now we can go to Lima if you want to. They got some nice restaurants up there. No, we want to go to Fish and Chips. Okay. Okay. So we'd take them there. Head. Let's see, I'd read the menu off to them because neither one of them could see that far. I don't know why I read it to them. Because I knew what they were going to get. Got it every time they went. You know, we could have went to Colonel Sanders because they had good chicken. We could have went to another restaurant there in town that they had roasted chicken and I'm telling you that's the best chicken you ever ate and I love chicken so but no they wanted to go there so my husband would say okay ladies what do you want place your order Okay, so they'd all, all three order. Aunt Ellen would order first because she always knew what she wanted. She wanted, it was a, a platter. It had fish on it, had chicken on it, had corn on the cob, and I don't know what else. She was the best eater in the world. Never complained and ate good. Ah. Uh, I'm warm and uh, she placed her order and I said mommy what do you want well you go ahead and order I thought okay maybe she's gonna order whatever I order so I ordered my food I said now what do you want mommy Aunt Marthy what do you want I want two pieces of chicken I said mom you wanted to come to the fish restaurant. They have fish, remember? They have chicken too and it's real good. I know, but I thought you were getting chick fish. No, I don't like fish. Well, why do we come here? Because I like to come here. They never one time got fish. It was always chicken. I'm telling you, I laughed 
first time we took them there, my husband just, he, he said, why don't we go to a place that's got good chicken? Oh, I like to come here because they've got fish, but you never get fish. I know, but they've got it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, they've got it. Yep, they've got it. But that was so funny. I always laughed at them. I thought that was so funny. And Ellen said, they're crazy. They don't know what they want. I said, well, Aunt Ellen, they, they got what they wanted. They wanted fish. I mean, chicken. She said, then we should have went to a chicken place. She said, you don't go to a fish place and order chicken. I said, well, they do. Well, they're crazy. I said, well, Aunt Ellen, that's what they want. But the first time we went there and they did that, it, it really blew my mind. But then from then on, I knew what they were going to order. And it was like, okay. So, but they got what they wanted and that's all that mattered. Okay, and then after I put the medium onion in there, that's the only thing it's in. It's cauliflower, broccoli, and onion. Then I'm going to put the mayonnaise and I used probably uh, a cup. I made a mess. Messy, messy. Maybe a little over a cup. I don't know. Can I lick my finger? Probably shouldn't. I'll hear about that. But that's okay. Okay. But now they like tater tots. We'd always get them a... No, it's not tater tots. It was... Um, I don't know what they were called. What were they called, honey? Tater wedges. No, those round things. Greg used to make them for Mom. They're like cornbread. I don't know. They liked them, so we'd always get them an order of that. And about a teaspoon of vinegar. vinegar, and a little bit of sugar. And if you have this leftover, you may end up, depends on how long you have it left over. A couple days, you might have to add a little bit more in it because it'll absorb it. Hush puppies, that's what they liked. So, okay, then you're going to need. They say a half a pound of bacon. I don't know if you need quite that much. Half a pound sounds good to me. I can always eat bacon. Now, if you're going to have this left over for a couple days, your bacon might get a little bit soft. We never have it left over that long, so I don't know. Now this is something that my Aunt Marthy and my mommy loved. 
I'd make this and take it over to St. Mary's when I'd take Mommy over there to spend the few days with Aunt Martha. Oh, they love this. Which I don't know anybody that don't like it. I wish I could make a dish and not make a mess and have it look pretty, but that's okay. I can clean it up. Now, isn't that pretty? It tastes good too. I'm going to find out. And I'm not going to burn my mouth this time. How about that? Mm. Mm. That is really, 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 really good. Mm. It really is. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm being a pig. That makes a beautiful dish. Now, y'all could eat on that for a couple days. Yeah. You know, I want you to know that it don't take but a few minutes to make that. Mm, I got too much in my mouth. I would hopefully you'll try that. I'd be better if it had fresh green onions in it. But it doesn't, but it's good like that. Try it. Don't take no time to make it. Stick it in the refrigerator. Have a dish. Take a dish to work with you for your lunch. Go sit in the park and eat it. Go enjoy it. And uh, let me know what you think because it's so easy to make. And uh, we'll be bringing you a lot more. I just thank you bunches for all of you that have been watching our videos. We're getting so many new people. And it's because of you all that's passing the names and word on about our videos. And we really, really appreciate it. So I just thank you bunches for it. So we'll be bringing you some more real soon. Bless you all. We love you. Thank you. Thank you.